Three Minute French Course 11. Bonjour et bienvenue. Hello and welcome to this French course. Course 11 in the Three Minute French series contains lessons 90 to 98, and in it we learn so much useful French. We start exploring the world of grammar in a bit more depth in this course, and we look at the difference between transitive verbs and intransitive verbs. Whilst it's a tricky topic, it will come in very useful, especially when we start learning something called reflexive verbs. Basically, transitive verbs are verbs that have to, or can, take an object, whereas intransitive verbs are those that don't take an object. An example is the verb to eat. If you say, I'm eating an apple, this sentence uses an object, an apple, so it's transitive. If you say, I'm eating, there's no object, so it's intransitive. Now don't worry if that made no sense at all, it'll all be explained in course 11. So besides transitive verbs and intransitive verbs, what else will we be learning in this course? Well, there's a very useful word, quelque, which doesn't really mean much by itself, but when you put it together with some other words, you get quelque part, quelqu'un, and quelquefois, meaning somewhere, somebody, and sometimes, respectively. We'll be looking at these words in detail and seeing how we can use them. We'll have another quick recap of the many different ways to say what in French, and we'll meet another word, quoi. You can use quoi to mean what with the verb savoir, which means to know. Je ne sais pas quoi faire. Je ne sais pas quoi faire. I don't know what to do. So, as you can see, you can use quoi in front of infinitives. We'll look at something called reflexive verbs, which are verbs that you do to yourself. For example, you can wash yourself, dress yourself, and get yourself up. Well, these are all examples of reflexive verbs, but we'll be learning many more in this course. The verb faire is one we've met quite a few times. We know it means to do or to make, but it can also be used in other ways. It's a very useful verb that can be used to express many different things, so we'll be exploring those and learning how to use them in our conversations. As well as all that, we'll be looking at lots of other topic areas, including lots of new adverbs, the words déjà and pas encore, lots of new verbs, the word peut-être, meaning perhaps, how to talk about where things are using the points on a compass, the different regions in France, how to give an email address in French, and much, much more. I hope you enjoy. Merci.